Often what ends up happening is we find ourselves at a point where we are distressed, depressed. We find ourselves where we're down in life. <laughs> we're down on our job. Our families, we're thinking, is this, what's going on? What is it that's happening? But I want you to hear this. You are rich beyond comprehension. You may not have a lot of liquid cash in your bank account, but I want you to understand this, that you are rich beyond your wildest imaginations. You are rich because of your standing in Jesus Christ alone. You may not be wealthy financially, but you are wealthy beyond and rich beyond comprehension. Do you realize that today you have access to unlimited vault size grace that the U.S. Treasury would, can only dream about? There are warehouses of wisdom that are available to you today because of Jesus Christ that would make Amazon and their warehouses look like a goldfish bowl. Because of Jesus Christ today, you are rich. You are rich. Your heavenly father brings the full weight of his glory to whatever it is that you're facing today. Whatever it is, it says that he would strengthen you in your inner being by the power of the Holy Spirit according to his riches. Lamentations 3 says that his mercy is new every morning. That means that I don't have to live off of yesterday's. No stale mercy. It's all new today out of his riches. Out of all that he has, he stands available today to you. His steadfast love never fails. His love is everlasting to everlasting for those who are his children. He is rich in love. Our father is rich in kindness. He lavishes patience. His peace is ready to be experienced and received. If you will only, only ask. I could go on forever and ever about this, but it wouldn't still, we wouldn't even scratch the surface. You know why? Because he is, in, he is unsearchable. He is immeasurable. He is immutable. He is inscrutable. I want you to hear, we are rich, rich, rich because of Jesus Christ. And our response when we have a glimpse of his wealth, his riches, and our access to him through a right relationship with Jesus should be to worship just like Paul did in Romans eleven thirty three. 33. Oh God, oh God, the depth of your riches, your wisdom, and your knowledge. Today, I want you to hear this. You are rich beyond your ability to grasp, not because of standing in your bank account, but on account of your standing in Jesus Christ. Do you hear me? Today, our response to his riches should be to worship him with everything that we have, to worship him with everything that we have. <laughs> 